My name is Dr. Mkono, and I'm here to orient you or instruct you, give you some information on how best to collect sputum so that we can analyze it and give you some answers. Please uh, do not use any of the information I'm providing here as medical advice. Please reach out to your doctors for more um, targeted care. I am going to be going over sputum collection. Some of you are going to be requested to collect one sputum. Some will be requested to collect three. You do your best to collect what you have. If you are not productive, please do not provide a spit. Phlegm comes from down here. Spit is in your mouth. Those are two different analyses. I am looking for sputum. So you have to have a productive cough, a cough that's producing phlegm from what we would assume is your lungs and not necessarily your sinuses, but you do the best you can. If I give you a script and I put your cups in here and make sure you remain sterile, you take your first uh, specimen cup, you open it, don't keep it open for too long and just spit in there and then close it immediately. If that's all I'm asking for is one specimen or that's all your doctor is asking for, that's fine. Just make sure you have enough and don't try to do anything additional. Just spit once. If you have a lot, spit twice if you want to. Put it in there and store it in the fridge, okay? Regular fridge, not freezer. That's the first collection. If that's all you're submitting, then you can also just go directly to the lab and have it processed. If you're collecting a series of two or three, usually three for some of us when we order it because we want to make sure we get some interesting um, information about some of the bacteria that could be very hard to grow and we're asking for three, we want you to collect all three consecutively if possible. If you're collecting after your first specimen, you're dry, then maybe that's the end of it. You just submit what you have. I would say the best thing is to always store it in the fridge if you're waiting a few days to go into the lab. Um, and so your second specimen, you open it, you spit in here, you close it, you put it in here, and you put it in your fridge, okay? The next day, so that will be the third day, you open it, spit, close it, and you put it in here. Now, you can either, if this is your third specimen and you're done, put it in your fridge if you're not going to the lab immediately, or if you're going to go that same day, then it's fine. You can now collect all your specimen, drive off to go to the lab, okay? If you happen to fall on a Saturday or a holiday, you can just store all of them in the fridge for that one day or two days and then go and submit them the next available time you have for submission. Once you have submitted them, it takes a few weeks to process. It could take maybe even five to seven days to start faxing over results to your doctor. So check with your doctor to see what's the next step. Usually you wanna go in and see your doctor to get these results. Maybe they may need to prescribe a medication or treatment for you related to the results. But just make sure you follow up. Everybody's situation is different. This is not medical advice. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned how to submit your specimen, and I wish you all the best. This is Dr. McConnell. Thank you again.